you haven't been to one of my first guests, New York City restaurant, you really should make a trip. My guest is this year's James Beard Award winner for the best chef in New York City, and I'm very proud of her, and the executive chef and co-owner of The Spotted Pig, The Breslin Bar and Dining Room, The John Dory Oyster Bar, and Salvation Taco, all delicious and all right here in Manhattan. Chef April Bloomfield, welcome to the show. Hi, Martha. Nice to be here again. I remember talking to you at the Spotted Pig. That was your first restaurant? That was my first restaurant. And I remember talking to you and thinking, God, this girl really knows how to cook, and this girl's going to be really good. And you have really done a lot in a very short period of time. Yeah, it's kind of blown me away a little bit, actually. Oh, it's amazing. Now, our other guest needs very little introduction to our regular listeners and viewers. He's the owner and chief operator of New York City's most prestigious meat packing facility, Meat Man Pat Lafreda Jr. And he's just finished an amazing book. Finished. It's yeah. all ready to go. It's all Come ready. September. Great pictures. You're, it's a very informative book about the use of meat in our cooking and, and identification of all the different cuts of meat, how to handle the meat. Uh, where it comes from. There's a lot of stuff. And I think it's a fantastic book. And thanks for having me today. So what do you think is the reason that patrons keep coming back and back to your restaurants? Uh, I mean, I'd like to think it was because we cook delicious food and we have we find spaces that are comfortable and have great energy. And you really started young cooking. Well, I went to cooking school. I did two years at cooking school from 16 to 18. And, in, in, you know, in between that, I was working at a Holiday Inn. And I was a cleaner for a while. I was a dishwasher. I've, I've done it all pretty much. I've kind of worked my way up uh, from, the, from the bottom to the top. It's amazing. Now, Pat, you started also as a child. Yes. Really. Uh, how old were you when you were sort of embraced by the meat I was 10 when my dad started taking me to work on any day I had off or, and during my summer vacations. So uh, being in the West Village at 3.30 in the morning, cutting meat in 36 degree temperatures was like <laughs> exciting to me. And my dad was doing it to discourage me from getting into the meat business. Oh, he was trying to discourage mm-hmm. you. Oh, yes. Oh. I was the generation that was supposed to go off to college, which I did, and go off and do bigger and better things. Meat is the only thing that ever made sense to me, and it was my passion since since then. I actually had the pleasure of working with April and met her before she actually opened the pig. Mm-hmm. And when you asked about her success and why people keep coming back, is April is one of those chefs that actually would come to La Frida Meats and stand with me in the plant and watch the process of everything happening and we came up with some great things together working together and april's made even a burger dish at the spotted pig one of the most famous dishes in the country so describe that that burger april (laughs) okay well i mean the pig burger is is a beast um we many years ago like 2003 just before we opened the pig i went to pat um, so we came up with this blend and, you know, Pat would kind of bring it back and he'd be like, hey, taste this. And I'd be like, oh, it needs a little bit more of this or a little bit, you know, a bit more fat, you know, needs more flavor and fat's flavor. So, you know, we kind of eventually came up with this kind of famous spotted pig blend that we, we serve. It's short rib, it's uh, brisket, uh, a little bit of chuck. But what about <laughs> the quality of the meat? Where are you getting all this beef and pork and everything else you sell where do where does it come from we deal with about 125 small farms throughout the country and when i hear people talk about uh local i think first make sure your meat is domestic we've visited every farm that we buy from and we make sure we know where our meat is coming from and how it's raised again there's lots of great stuff to to learn from uh, both april bloomfield and pat lafreda both uh, masters at their trade and and uh, and their art and i congratulate you on your success and uh, if you have a chance to go to any of april bloomfield's restaurants do don't miss it and if you have a chance to buy any of pat's fantastic meats do you will not regret it thank you both very much for coming and happy weekend thank you for having us